Hello human beings, what is up? It is Freak from the Beauty and the Freak reaction channel. This is my little side show called Freak Show. All right, and as you can see from the title, I'm giving you guys my first album, hip hop album that I ever uh, listened to all the way through and, and really, really got to sit on and, and learn the game of hip hop and learn, you know, what it was when I was a young lad, okay? If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and comment down below and check your boy's music out and the merch, don't forget about it, all right? So like I said, this is normally a reaction channel. You'll probably get more entertainment on when me and Beauty uh, are doing reactions to music, but this is just the side talk show, okay? It's like a podcast. I'm just talking about things that I want to talk about Join the conversation, all right? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know uh, about what you think about these particular topics, all right? So, let's get into it. Um, I would say, so, so here's the thing. There, w there was actually two. One, when I, when I was using cassette tapes back in the 90s, when CDs hadn't really, you know, came out at this time. And then there was my first actual CD album, that I had gotten, and a really funny story behind that one, but I'll get to that next. But we have to go back to the very first, which was a cassette tape, and that was actually Will Smith, all right? Believe it or not, like, I, I had a little Will Smith cassette tape. You know, you had to flip it to get the other songs. You know, if you know, you know. There's, like, a certain amount of songs on one side. Whenever that's done, you got to flip it around, and then, you know, it's kind of like a record player. But it was cool, man, like... Back in that time, you know, because I could see all the transitions of of all this stuff happening so quickly with technology and, and music and how music was consumed, you know, really cool. But uh, yeah, as for the album title by Will Smith, it was a uh, Big Willie Style, okay. <laughs> and yeah, and, and I and I, I only remember one. Cause I remember there was a lot of songs on the whole cassette tape, but I only remember one in particular to this day, and uh, it was Cruising. Just cruising where, well, baby, I don't care As long as you take me there Somewhere to ease my mind Just cruising But yeah, that was a fire little hook on there, all right? But yeah, I just remember bumping that after school as like a, I think I was like seven or eight. I had to be, you know, in like first grade. You know, I was born in 93, so I was pretty young uh, when that was out. But um, yeah, man, it's like cool memories. I mean, I'm not a huge Will Smith fan fan of you know his music because you know he's always been like a pg rapper to me but during that time like that that if i went back and listened to that whole thing right there it'd be so nostalgic anyway on to the next one so it was about a couple years later and obviously i had been hearing you know hip-hop on the radio periodically but i never actually had like access to my uh, like a full hip-hop album because at that time you know early 2000s late 90s you know, parents kind of looked at it, you know, they kind of frowned upon it because of the language and, and, and violence in the, in the lyrics, which was natural. So I couldn't just go to, go to Walmart and, and pick out my favorite hip hop artist, you know, with my, with my mom, you know, <laughs> yeah, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna allow it. But what, but what happened was, is this particular album got sent in the mail from some type of subscription we had with like getting five CDs a month, I think it was. Y'all know if y'all know, but I can't remember what it was, but they gave us like five CDs with like some type of monthly subscription. But uh, one of them happened to be a, uh, a hip hop album, which was Ludacris, right? And to this day, you know, Ludacris has been one of my favorite rappers of all time when it comes to flow, expression in the voice. He's just been always dope to me, you know, slightly underrated because I think the fast the Fast and the Furious series or the franchise kind of downplayed his role in hip hop and he kind of slowed off on making albums. But uh, yeah, man, he's always been really cool to me, man. And the way he delivers, you know, his delivery is just so crazy. I, I learned a lot from him and along with a lot of rappers at that time, including like Andre 3000, you know, if we're talking Southern, Southern rap. But uh, yeah, the album was back for the first time. You know, you had songs like 
Uh, game got switched, get off me, mouthing off, stick them up with UGK. Man, like that was such a classic Southern hospitality with Pharrell Williams. Can't forget that one. But uh, yeah, man, I even go back to that one every now and then just to time travel. You know, when you, when you, when you listen to old stuff that you grew up on, it's, it's always nostalgic. But uh, yeah, that's, my, that's like my weird little story behind that. You know, I found the album that my mom had hidden from me. I never understood why she just didn't simply throw it away. You know, it was still in the plastic and everything. She put it in some random drawer, and I just happened to accidentally find it. And I'm like, oh, oh shit, okay. So I listened to it on the low when my mom, you know, wasn't around, or I just closed my door, kind of, you know, put my headphones on with it because we had, like, little portable CD players back then. So, like, it really put me on with that, and I'm like, oh, I just fell in love with hip-hop from that point on. And I was into all kind of genres at the time, which is why my music sounds the way it, it does. So, by the way, this is a shameful plug. Check your boy's music out if you want to see what I'm talking about. All right? But, yeah, man, it was cool. You know, I, I actually... I've probably told that story a lot throughout these little episodes. Not this particular show, but the other one with me and Beauty. But, um, yeah, it was like a really cool memory of mine. And I had that CD for a long time. I think the next one that I had and, like, one of my friends gave it to me for free was, you know, the Marshall Mathers uh, LP, you know, Eminem's, uh, I think, first big album. And that one was crazy, bro. Everybody was like, what the hell is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> but how he rhymed, you know, just like Luda, man, like the rhymes and the syllable usage was just crazy. And I, I, I took notes of all that growing up. But yeah, man, that, that's my story. And if y'all have the time to, to put it in the comments, I, I, I would definitely read, uh, read everybody's if I can. I know they ain't going to be that much. I just started this podcast. But uh, yeah, I'd like to know y'all's stories in the comments or just even just simply put what your favorite, uh, your first album was that you got a hold of. If you have that memory, I mean, if you're younger, you know, and you kind of grew up in the streaming, streaming world, might have been a little saturated because it was, it's not really that many physical albums out there. I mean, you can still hit up Walmart and still find some physical albums, but nobody really uses that, at least within the last five to eight years, I feel like, anyway. But uh, yeah, I'd like to know, man. So, I mean, if y'all are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And comment down below, please. All right, I'd really greatly appreciate it. But anyway, I like to I like to end all these with a with a nice positive message. Y'all have a blessed day. Pass some love on to somebody else. Go meditate. Uh, call somebody up you love, because you never know. All right, uh, we're all existing out here together. Let's exist cordially, and just be nice to each other. Y'all have a blessed day and stay awesome. <music>